So I think perhaps let's get some perspectives on what the governments can do from the policy perspective to ensure that there's uh, the flow of capital into health infrastructure and that this doesn't meet similar types of challenges in terms of things like climate infrastructure, where there are very grand commitments that are put onto the table, but there's no cash. Um, healthcare is, is something that's fundamental, particularly with the growing population in ASEAN. Now we're looking at what, 680 million plus. Um, so how do you, if we could take it from the government perspective first in terms of what it's made you do in terms of policy and, and where, that may, where that may lead to in terms of bringing those investments in or, or making investors feel more confident. Thank you, Andrew. The, my first round and second round is the first round is the, our situation and second round is the we prefer and need uh, investment. And my last suggestion is to promote the international donors and international partners uh, need to technical and financial assistance from international organizations to the leg of the health uh, uh, head leg uh, can, countries like that. So our development partner has reduced the floor of the system to developing country. So that in that case, I would like to receive your pursuing contribution to the development to healthcare sector through bilateral, multilateral, and regional cooperation. So, so this is the very important for the our least development country and our situations country. That's why please to note it and please well be uh, human being is very important for the world. That's why you can uh, take care and you can care about our country situation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tan. Um, Ms. Tavischa. Thank you again. Uh, yeah, uh, as we know that there are always challenges for any government when uh, encountering unlimited needs uh, with the limited resources like uh, uh, our countries. Um, so there is no exception uh, in healthcare, healthcare sector as well. Keeping in mind that the people's health is very important uh, to, I mean, gear or the, the drive the economic growth, development and growth. So uh, a country uh, like Laos and so pay very important in uh, designing policy to attract uh, private investment into the uh, healthcare sector as, or in, in social sector in general. Um, at least for the current uh, government policy, as uh, addressed in the investment promotion law um, to fulfill the uh, national social economic development plan as a vision to the 2030. Uh, government has set uh, a, a clear incentive for the at least two social sectors, namely healthcare and education. For example, if any uh, company invested in the healthcare uh, and education uh, in the zone one, zone one which uh, means the zone which has uh, less, uh, how to say, less uh, economic infrastructure, then uh, the company will, uh, will be entitled to get a tax, a profit tax holidays for 15 years. Uh, and also, if the company used uh, state land for concession, uh, then also uh, will be uh, exempted for the uh, land uh, concession fee for 15 years. Uh, uh, in addition, they also can uh, import the material equipment for, for example, for hospital, for school, with the tax exemption. For, for certain years. So this is the set of the, uh, I mean, uh, tax policy scheme that uh, we are offering to the, in, in, in for, um, for FDI. But I just would like to share uh, your view that uh, ASEAN has uh, really had to work as a, 
uh, big healthcare uh, uh, ecology uh, system to offer to the world. Um, I have learned that many uh, Lao people also are the uh, non ASEAN also use I mean, healthcare service in Singapore or in Thailand, whereas the people who need the fresh air, yeah, um, negative iron, they go to Wang Vieng uh, of Laos, for example. And many, uh, I mean, retirement people from a uh, country like Japan, they also care, uh, curious to, to come and to to make the good retirement in 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 uh, ASEAN country, including Laos. So something we have to uh, collaborate and and promote healthcare in in parallel with the uh, I mean um, uh, 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 tourism, ecotourism, also uh, 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 how to say um, uh, org organic uh, agriculture, uh, food production, something like. It's a good combination for that. Um, Other than that, uh, our MOH uh, Ministry of Health also uh, working on the policy to improve the residents' healthcare system to respond to the pandemic and be well prepared for, the, for any public health emergency in the future, uh, which they have special uh, I mean, program that they are working on just to uh, I mean, share with uh, our colleagues for, for this. And so, um, to, uh, in order to achieve the universal health uh, coverage by 2025, um, they are also working on the strategic uh, direction of healthcare sector reform uh, to be improved, uh, to be improving resident health uh, system as well. So, other thing I think we, we need to continue to to uh, continue to promote. We talk a, lo a lot about green energy. But we also uh, to, to, to have to continue to promote the green, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean uh, and sustainable, inclusive investment in diversified areas, uh, not only focusing on, uh, on renewable, Laos also rich in, in uh, natural resources, uh, but uh, we think it's not really sustainable without the I mean, comprehensive uh, I mean, policy and a and, 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 uh, uh, technical expert to, to explore that, that area. So we need also focus on the non-renewable sector like uh, eco-agro-tourism, eco, uh, agro -tourism, uh, so on so what uh, as I had mentioned. And other than that, uh, for our specific case, we need to strengthen the government revenue and budget management, uh, hence to uh, be able to contrib contribute more to uh, uh, health, healthy education and health infrastructure and services in the future. That is for our side. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Um, before we c come on I, 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 to the private sector perspective, I mean, do, do, in terms of the policy and, and where things have gone post, post COVID, post pandemic, um, Obviously, there were there were a lot of commitments back a few years ago, and people's people's memories, unfortunately, tend to be uh, a, a little bit transient at times in terms of keeping up with some of those commitments that were made. So, perhaps from your perspectives, how how do you feel this this sort of policy drive can be taken forward, or where where potentially you've had success uh, through certain types of Opportunities or certain types of relationships. Perhaps you might want to give some some sharing on on, on that side, if you if you don't mind. Yeah, uh, just a limit of time. Just to make it quick. Uh, I think learning from the past. I think uh, commitment is very strong, but we need the consistency and execution. That's one thing. The second thing now is how to build the synergy for the next one, because we believe that, uh, like Director Tran talking about working together. I think this is the way that how we can uh, working together, so we can act together, we can build, and we can benefit together for everyone in Southeast Asia. This is the uh, how to make it uh, happen. This is very important for everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Christina. Yeah, 
So yeah, that's the consistency is very important that we need to manage. And other than that, actually, when we invest on something, actually, the one that we need beside uh, setting up the favorable policies, of course, from the government side. So I think that government needs to appoint one team that can that have a powerful force to to do and to manage the timeline to make sure that this project can be delivered timely. Yeah, um, learning from the past that we have so many commitments or maybe we have so many dreams or so many ideas, but when it goes into the policies, government has the policies and umbrella to do that, but when it goes into the area, they have a different, not, not, not very different, but uh, they, they really have a different point of view or small policies that it can be uh, the bottlenecks of after being introduced to the regulatory side. So um, yeah, I think the consistency and then the one who will lead an escort project from the beginning to the end to make sure that the synergy can going on and then beneficiary for everyone, that's very important. Thank you.